Hello! It's Pi Day! Well, technically Pi Day was yesterday, but yesterday was not a good day. <laughs> so, happy Ides of March! Happy stabbing! Let's take down the dictators! And have fun! Anyway, um, it's Pi Week because... Pi Day is supposed to be a holiday for baking, so... <laughs> I wanted to make pies, and uh, I miss pie. I, I love pies. So, yesterday I was supposed to do the pie day Alan Turing pie with carrot pie from baking yesterday. Honestly, I just didn't want to. Why? Because the last two recipes I got from baking yesterday's, I just couldn't, I couldn't eat them. The, the Valentine pie was so sweet. It was making me sick. And then the peanut butter cake was so much peanut butter that it got me sick and like I only had one bite of it and uh, it's so much ingredients, so much money, so much energy for stuff that I can't eat so I will still do it but right now I just need a win I just need something that I know I'm going to eat cause I'm hungry man so today I'm going to make a scissor pie for the Ides of March and I'm going to make it with a filling that I've prepared last summer and can since and it should be fine. It's eggplant and tomatoes with sugar and oil and it's really good. It's my recipe. And this one I know for sure. I know it. I love it. I'm going to eat it. Thank fuck. So the only unknown in that recipe is the pie crust because since I've been gluten free pie crust and I just didn't mix very well I do not want to use store-bought for this because I really just want to be able to have a pie dough recipe that I can actually use so pie week seems like the best time to experiment with that so that is what I'm going to do. Um, the last two recipes I tried to use were too wet. They were just not working. So I have higher hopes in this one. It's from Let Them Heat Gluten Free Cake. And yeah, I've got high hopes for this one because usually our recipes are pretty great. Except for the bread, but I think the problem is me for the bread. I'm just not good at making bread yet. So I've got high hopes, I really want to make this work and I think I will so let's make a pie and then I'm going to make the carrot pie because it's supposed to be close to a pumpkin pie and I miss pumpkin like nothing else and then I'm going to make the apple pie from the Sipti Desert I'm not going to copy a design, I'm going to do it in another design but it's still going to be a recipe for the apple filling when I say I miss pumpkin, I really mean it. I checked. There are only two pumpkin spice recipe in the entire year planned. One is the ice cream, which I will do in the summer. I'm not insane enough to make ice cream in winter. Like, no. Sorry, cats. Um, but the other one is a cake. I do not remember, but I think I had designs thought for this one so it's probably in either Halloween or Christmas and that means that it's not for ten it's not for right now and <laughs> pumpkin spice is probably my favorite flavor even above chocolate which says a lot and I just really really miss it usually when I bake uh, when I'm not you know doing a one year challenge I will most of the time gravitate toward pumpkin spice and the fact that I can't eat pumpkin spice because all my recipes don't contain it drives me nuts so I've got a whole pumpkin that is sitting on my shelf and that is going to spoil if I don't eat it and just I just want to eat pumpkin again so after this week instead of going straight into Easter recipes I really think that I'm going to just take a week 
and eat my pumpkin and do like five different pumpkin spice recipe. Some I already know I like, like the cheesecake that I made last week. Uh, the end of last year, which was so good, and some new because I want to start experimenting. But yeah, I need I need pumpkin spice stuff. I really do. I am so tired. I just really, really want pumpkin spice stuff, you know. So that's what I'm going to do this week. Pies, which I tend to eat more than cake, so I'm I'm really hopeful about that. Which yeah. Having stuff I can eat, it's going to be so refreshing. And then next week, I'm going to settle my craving for pumpkin spice and do all stuff until uh, until all my pumpkin is gone. I'm going to make soup, I'm going to make oatmeal, I'm going to make smoothies, I'm going to make cake, cheesecake, everything, cookies. I just want pumpkin spice stuff. And I, I don't want cake if I eat only that. I will never get sick of it. I don't think I would ever get sick of pumpkin spice. I know it's because I'm white and all that. But you know, when you like something, just give into it. I love it. Anyway, pie time. Now, in the recipe, she encouraged us to do this in a food processor. And so far, when I've made pie dough the American way, I've done it in a food processor because it's easier, it's quicker, it's just convenient. That was true when I tried to do the last two gluten-free recipes and it did not work out, but for other reasons. And you know what? I'm not American. And the, the pie crust that my mom taught me is made by hand. And I miss that so much. I just really miss doing pastry with my hands because lately all the dough that I could actually touch with my hand were overly refrigerated bread dough that was sticking, that were falling apart, that was so cold and just did not feel at all like pastry or, or dough and I just really miss making pastry by hand and the, if this recipe works out I just want this sensation and fool myself into believing I'm using wheat flour again. You know, small things. So yeah, I'm going to do it by hand. It takes more time, it's less foolproof, but you know, I don't care. I just really want to make Also, cleaning my food processor is a pain in the ass and I don't want to do it. So, Bye bye, stand mixer, I will not need you. So yeah, let's make some pie crust and then in the fridge and then I'll bake and do all the design stuff after I, you know, printed the templates and all later. For now, focus on the pie crust.
first pie is done, it's the Caesar pie. And so the only unknown was the pie crust. It's great. It behaves so nicely, it wasn't crumbling in my hand, it was it didn't need to be super frozen to not fall apart, you know, and I sneak the taste because you know stuff fell apart. It is super crumbly, super buttery and flaky, despite me treating it like play-doh. So yeah, totally. Now I used what is one? I used uh, the mix from Let Them Eat Gluten Free Cake. So I do not know if it will work with another another flour mix. This is annoying. But I will try. So I've got a bit of dough left and it will go into making the other portrait that I need to make. But I'm going to try to for the next two to make the dough out of a store-bought mix that I have. I will add xanthan gum because it doesn't have any. But yeah. And I will try to make it out of all flour because I have it, I love the taste. My oil is very buttery and flaky and texture wise it's amazing. Taste is a little off, it's just I don't like um, all that much the rice flour of the, the rice flour. So it's totally okay for people that you know are not that picky. But I am super picky so Maybe I want to try if it would work with the old flower. Mm. Yeah, it is good. Man, I missed pie. I miss being able to actually play with the dough and not just roll out the sheets and carve out of them. I'm so happy to have a good pie dough recipe. I could do by hand. This is so great. Face restoring it in humanity and recipe because this one worked. Like the breads didn't work. After you know the two different baking yesteryear fails also at the bread that was just terrible. I just need a win, you know. And this is it. I miss spice so much. I'm so happy. And now I'm actually excited to do the other two because I know at least the pie dough will serve. <laughs> will not disappoint. Alright. Now to do the portrait of Alan Turing to put on the pie and then then carrot pie also it's the first time that I actually managed to do the decal instead of using cinnamon I used black cocoa because I have it and it's black which is the point it didn't all work out but in the end the features are recognizable so win so yeah so good totally on board for the, for the next trip 